Okay, so let's talk about the importance of contemporary issue. And first, let's define what is contemporary. So when we talk, say, contemporary, it means uh, existing or happening. It's recent. Okay. Usually, um, the scope of contemporary issue covers uh, almost a century. So meaning from 2020, 2021, back until we can say it's still contemporary after the World War. Yes. So post-war. 45, 47, until 2021, we can say it's still part of the contemporary issues because um, because this is what uh, uh, the events of, of the past are still existent, existing uh, to the uh, present day, okay? So yes, that is why it is, uh, it, that timeline still covers the whole contemporary field, okay? So... Uh, if your grandpa or your grandparents are survivors or veterans of World War Two, yes, they still belong to the contemporary world. Okay, but uh, if it is way beyond, uh, way back before um, World War Two, so it's no longer part of uh, the contemporary issues. So usually, it's almost a century. You can say it's almost a century. Okay, supposedly it's in 1921, okay, 1921 to year uh, 2021, but the things have changed man, throughout the years, and we can say uh, uh, what are the events or the problems of 1920, 1921 is no longer uh, existing in the year 2021, so yeah, that's the span, so maximum of a hun almost 100 years. Okay, when we say it's contemporary. And then we have issues. So when we say issues, these are important topic or problem that people talk about, discuss. Okay, so these are what troubles the society. Okay, that's why it's called an issue. So it's a societal issue, by the way. So it's a societal issue because it covers uh, the whole society, uh, a group of people. But if it only problems, if it only affects one person, that's a personal issue. So the problem is, um, it's within you. Okay, that's the personal issue. So it's how you deal. Uh, it's how you personally see things around you. That's a personal issue. But if it's a societal issue, okay, then it affects uh, the whole community or a large group of people. Okay, and when you talk about contemporary issues, these are recent issues that are happening now and happened in the past okay so what happened in the past and still happening today these are what we call contemporary issues okay so can you give me an example of events or problems in the past that still exist in 2021 can we have someone to share or you can just type it on the chat box if you have problems with your microphone yeah, let's call on Mary Antoinette Cuenco. Yes, Mary, do you have any idea of uh, problems in the past that still exist in 2021? Yes, do we have Mary? Are you online, Mary? Okay, so it appears that Mary is not around. Let us proceed with Sophia Isabel Donat. Yes, yeah, Sophia. Do you? Uh, the, yes. The gap of the rich and poor. Okay. Yes, that still exists until the present period. Okay. So 1920, 1921 to year 2021, there's still a gap between the rich and poor and it goes up and down the gaps increases and decreases and in social studies uh, there's a reason why there's a gap between the rich and poor you can study uh, social stratification if you want to know why it still exists until to this day okay because the society is stratified okay let us continue and the word contemporary issues comes from the latin word uh, contempora con, which means with and temporaries times. So it's with time and uh, a matter of and 
it is well the word issue means a matter of public concern so when we talk about contemporary issues it's something to it has something to do with the society and it's it is what the society is concerned about and the philippines filipinos are politically inclined rather than environmentally inclined so filipinos would rather talk about politics than talking about a tree being cut down okay yeah. so that's why in the philippines we folk heavily focus on political issues and most of our contemporary issues are in politics while we neglect talking about the environment okay so yes that's that's how uh, every society has its own characteristics and has its own way of looking at things around them okay in other countries in japan uh, they value their environment so much that uh, that they make it an issue if you just cut down a, a tree or uh, if you create uh, uh, if you create roads that affects some um, rivers okay and some with, same with other countries. The other countries have different uh, ways of looking at their surroundings and uh, looking at the problems within their society. Okay. And the importance of contemporary issues is that learning about contemporary issue is similar to making a dialogue between the past and present. Because, yes, that's what the contemporary issue is. It covers uh, the events in the past that still exist uh, to these days. And knowing about the difference and similarities between the past and present would help us have an intelligent decision as a young person and eventually uh, we will become members of the society yes you will become members of the workforce workforce someday whether you become a manager or a boss someday in your company you still belong to the work for workforce and how you can actively play your part as if you are not aware of the contemporary issues so how can we be uh take part of the issues that happen in the community if we are not aware so it is important to have a, uh, a an idea of how what how things work around us okay it's not just looking at things in an economic perspective uh, when you become a businessman someday oh i just want to focus on earning money no you, you have to think about the problems as well not just the prob not just the uh, the economical perspective but political social cultural environmental these are the things that you need to understand uh when you uh go out there class and engage with the world okay i think yes earliest now you can engage with the world okay but you just ha it just happened that you're a student and you're still young you're still not on the legal age that's why uh you have difficulties engaging but as early as now you can e slowly see how things happen around you okay and facing challenges presented by contemporary issues entails broad perspective on local and international issues yes there's a need to look at the things within the, our locality within our neighborhood but also to have a viewpoint in the bigger picture the global scale okay because what happens outside the philippines affects the philippines we don't want covid to enter the philippines we don't we didn't create covid we didn't discover covid okay but the philippines was affected okay because the philippines is not well prepared for scenarios like this okay so that is why it is important to be to have a bigger perspective okay not just the microscopic perspective that you're just concerned with in your neighborhood no we also have to be concerned at the global scale and that is why the united states class if you look at the united states as a country why do they uh, intervene or why do they participate on global conflicts why do they uh, participate on or join go to other countries and participate in their social issues under uh, country issues and that's because um, uh, the United States does not want problems outside their country to enter their country they are so concerned with the global uh, issues okay they believe that what happens in the Middle East in the Arab world will also affect them because uh, the United States makes use or buys or purchase uh, oils from this country and if there, there is problem in the Arab world where they get their oil it will affect their oil prices that is why it's it's like the Philippines we need to be aware uh, with what is happening outside our country okay 
And when you look at your history as well, or if you remember during your AP8, your world history, Japan went to isolationist policy where they just closed their borders. They don't want to be uh, interconnected with the outside world. But what happened is they were left behind technologically, okay? And they were uh, subdued. Uh, the, uh, the Europeans were able to bring with them uh, machineries and force the Japanese to open their ports. Portis. Okay, so yes, that's the problem with uh, seclusion. If you just if you don't socialize, okay, that's the problem of being too introvert. Okay, because you don't improve, you don't get to see how different you are with others, and you get to get to see what needs to be improved. And it would help students like you further develop your skills in critically analyzing situations, compare and contrasting these past situations, and formulating realistic and relevant judgments regarding the present and next generation. So that's why this goal uh, in this subject, contemporary issues, we will deal with uh, real world problems and we will make real world solutions Okay, and we will analyze uh, mga, uh, methods on how we can solve issues that happen around us. But, you know, since we are just inside our homes and we are connected with the internet, we can use someone's experience um, to help us make uh, better idea, to have better ideas and decisions. Okay, so the reasons why we should keep abreast with the current events and contemporary issues. So yes, current events, these are the things that happen current, currently and the main source of current events are the news, uh, okay, news, uh, news companies. And the reason why we should learn contemporary issues is to become part of a global community. Yes, we need to globalize our perspective. We don't need, we don't have to be limited uh, with our own understanding of what the world looks like, okay? And to formulate our own conclusion or perspectives on issues, okay? So that is the very goal of why we need to globalize so uh, to have a bigger uh, understanding of what the world is. It's because for us to make uh, good conclusions and perspective, okay? Next is to initiate relevant discussion. That is why it is important to understand contemporary issues so we can talk about relevant topics, okay? And one of the reasons is to help you decide your course of job. Okay, back then there's a high demand in nursing. That's why people back then decided to, oh, let's go nursing. Even though they're not good at science, they take nursing, but when uh, the nursing population increases, the job offers decreases. That's why there are a lot of call, um, nursing graduates back then who entered the call center company because they do not understand they will, how things work in their society. So, okay, so we are in the 21st century, so the highly demand skills are related to information technology, related to IT, related to uh, computers related to this whole software thing, the whole internet thing, okay? So it's good to know programming. That's why you have robotics classes, uh, okay? That is to prepare you uh, with what the future job looks like, okay? Factories of the future no longer need or hire, will hire people to work as factory worker, but instead they will only hire people to maintain machines so it will be machines that will be replacing people from in manufacturing uh different goods okay so since we are on a pandemic okay so there is still a need for m medical courses okay people who wants to enter the medical world yes there is still a need for that and not just that they need to ma ma related to science like chemists chemist physicist uh, uh, other uh, forms of uh, uh, other fields of sciences that can help uh, discover ways of making life better. Okay, and one of the reasons is to learn to acknowledge and respect others' point of view. Yes, that's the problem with, with what we have in our society. People lo just love to hate, yes, because they find it easy to hate. Okay, they just hate uh, someone based on the differences that they see 
based on the identity. If there's a difference in the identity, people can easily hate it. Okay? So, yeah, that's the very objective of this uh, social studies thing. Because when you enter social studies and put it into your heart and into your mind class, okay, you will, you will see people equal. No matter how rich or poor they are, they, just, they are just the same. Okay, they are human species okay interacting and engaging with each other okay so yes that's the the very purpose of under studying contemporary issues and all that is to see how others behave okay let us proceed next next is yeah here are the examples of contemporary issues the video already showed uh, different issues that the society experiences but if we look at them on a social science perspective we can categorize them as environmental issues uh, problems that are related to the environment and economic issues just like unemployment they belong to the economic issues these are problems regarding with the resources and and money and opportunities in life and political issues something to do with leadership and uh, policies and human rights issues human rights issues are societal issues it talks about uh, individual rights and gender issues these still belong to societal issues so yes and education issues and civil issues okay these are issues that we get to experience in our society and we will discuss further as we progress towards the end of the school year okay so yes those are that serves as the introductory discussion for uh, the contemporary issues